I wrote stuff down so that I wouldn't forget anything. Um, but yeah, here we, here we go, here we go. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is a very exciting video. Like truly, I haven't felt this like nervous talking about anything in a while, but I think it's because I always get nervous talking about things that I am doing in my life. Today is a very special day in my life because this video is being released right before the launch of my workspace brand. So if you guys have seen my workspace organization video, um, which if you haven't, I will link in the cards above, but if you have, you will already kind of know about um, Enkel and the products that I'm selling. And I think I briefly touched on, you know, how this all came about, why I decided to start this, but I really wanted to dive into it today and just give you guys the down low on, um, this, the backstory of this brand, how it came about, um, my business partners. And yeah, just wanted to give you guys the lowdown before launch day and then obviously announce launch day. So launch day is actually one week from now. It is, that is when our site will be available to the public. Um, I actually put the link of the site in the down bar for you guys. So if you guys want to go there and just put your emails in and sign up to get the notification on when we launch, you can go and do that. Um, but right now the site is not public because we are still kind of preparing the last, um, I guess like bits and pieces of what we need to finish on the site and um, yeah, just kind of prepare ourselves for launch day. I feel like I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so I'm gonna rewind a little bit and just tell you the backstory of how Enkel Studios came about. So about a year ago, I wanna say, um, my business partners, Tony and Adam, reached out to me via email. Um, we had actually previously partnered on something else, um, just a social media collab, but they reached out to me and asked me, hey, like, do you have any interest in building your own like online e-commerce store? I kind of gave them the lowdown about Capsule the brand and how I do kind of sell uh, little items that I love on Capsule. Gave them my spiel on my experience on running an e-commerce store, but um, we kind of wanted to do something a little bit more together. We wanted to build a brand from the ground up and carry products that are our own. On Capsule, a lot of the products are obviously curated, they're vintage, they're um, pre-loved clothing items, and some of them are new clothing items, but even then I source from um, like Korean suppliers and brands. So this is the first time that I will have ever created a product that was completely ours. Um, we reached out to manufacturers, we went back and forth talking about the product and how it works. And yeah, it's just kind of my very own special baby and I'm so excited about it. We chatted back and forth about what we wanted to do together and discover that we share a common interest, which is workspace organization and not just any type of workspace organization, but a very aesthetically pleasing. I hate that phrase, but it is so necessary to use in this situation but a very aesthetically pleasing workspace um, organization setup, I guess you can say. I've followed tons and tons and tons of setup Instagrams, like setup workspace accounts in the past, just to take inspo into my, work, my own workspace, because ever since I started to work remotely about almost two and a half years ago now, I just really felt the need to deck out my workspace and make it perfect for me. It was super difficult for me to find products that worked for me, um, but also looked a specific way. So personally, and this is kind of why we launched with the first collection that we did, personally, I really like a light aesthetic. So light wood, white, creams, cream, like marble, stone, that aesthetic. 
and I just couldn't really find anything that suited that. There was a lot of black steel, there was um, a lot of walnut wood. I saw tons of walnut wood, which is absolutely beautiful. I love walnut wood, but it just wasn't what I was looking for. We found that we have this common interest and that we have all struggled in the time that we were trying to um, like build our workspace in finding products that were exactly what we were looking for. Um, and it kind of just all clicked and we decided why not start a workspace organization um, company together because one we know for a fact we can test these products like test and test and test these products to make sure that they are perfect because we use these products every single day we all work remotely both um, in our nine to fives as well as all of our uh, digital pursuits so social media for me and now ankle products um, we all work from home for these projects. So it was just the perfect thing for us to do together. Then came the very long, very tedious process of figuring out what we wanted for our first collection. We knew we wanted something in light wood because as I was saying before, I really am obsessed with this aesthetic and I just couldn't find anything else on the market that matched what I wanted. Um, we knew we wanted organizing, like desk top organization, um, just because that is kind of the first thing I personally looked for when I started building out my workspace. I mean, beyond the tech side of my workspace, like my computer and whatnot, um, I knew I needed monitor stand right away when I started to work from home because I knew I wanted a double monitor setup or like a two computer setup. And then from there, I kind of also started to realize, okay, my monitor doesn't sit as high as I would like it. And my monitor personally, it doesn't have the um, ability to be able to like raise and lower. Um, it just kind of sits at one height and I realized I was getting a lot of neck problems, shoulder problems, and back problems from looking downwards towards my monitor. So the second thing I started to look for was a monitor stand. And these two things were the very first pieces that I picked up for my workspace. I actually still have my initial laptop stand that I was using before, which I will show you guys later. Um, it's great, but it's just like black metal and there's just nothing special about it. So after chatting back and forth and reaching out to different manufacturers, we decided to create our own monitor stand and laptop stand for our first collection. So our first collection is called the Birch Collection and the name tells all it is called that because all these products are made with beautiful birch wood. I was trying to figure out for a while what the wood that I was looking for is called because I knew that there's bamboo, but bamboo isn't exactly the color that I wanted it to be. It was, it was like a little too orange for what I was liking. So we scratched bamboo. It wasn't walnut, walnut is too dark. And I, yeah, it definitely took me a while before I realized, okay, birch wood is what I'm looking for that I want to create these products with. Tony and Adam have experiences running e-commerce businesses in the past, so they already knew um, where we could reach out to suppliers and manufacturers to try to figure out what this birch product would be. And yeah, after I think it was like several more months of contacting people, going back and forth, we finally came to a product that we love. So currently the birch collection has two products, the laptop stand and the monitor stand. We did order a limited run of these products because we don't want to be um, overproducing products. And well, for one, we don't want to carry in like too much inventory, but two, we didn't want to just like mass produce a cheap product um, and kind of add to the world's waste. So we created a very limited run of these products. And if you guys end up loving them, if they sell out right away, of course, we will go ahead and produce another batch of the products. That's kind of how we wanted to start with Ankel. I'm gonna insert some clips here of the products, um, but I guess I'll talk a little bit about it. So the first product is the Birch laptop stand. We really wanted this laptop stand to be able to help your productivity as well as your um, posture, honestly. The Birch laptop stand has a curved shape 
platform that allows for better ergonomics while holding your laptop really safe. So it does have a little ledge that your laptop sits on so it doesn't slide forward at any point. One thing we wanted to make sure that we have were ventilation ports in the laptop stand. So on the main platform itself, there are vertical cutouts for your computer to properly vent out. And then if you have a MacBook, the vent I know is actually by the hinge um, between the monitor and the like base of the laptop. So that part sits at the end of the Birch laptop stand and is able to vent out there just fine as well. We also included a cutout in the back of the laptop stand for you to feed your wires through. So we wanted to make it multi-purpose in the sense that it holds your laptop it helps with your posture, but it also helps to keep your desktop looking really organized and clean. Wire management, cable management has always been such a hard thing for me. I actually created a video talking about my cable management, which I will link in the cards as well as in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But when it comes to the wires actually coming up like to your desktop, that's something that I kind of struggled with as well. And I find that this system really works for me because anything that needs to plug into my laptop, I can feed it around and under the laptop stand through that back hole and then around over to the right port. That way the wires are kind of hidden underneath that main platform and doesn't look cluttered on your desk. We actually went through a couple of iterations of this um, monitor stand and this specific height was actually our favorite. So an issue that I've had with past monitor stands is that um, the angle isn't quite right, um, the height of the platform isn't quite right, so all of that really plays a part in how comfortable and how ergonomic your laptop stand is. The thing I love about this laptop stand is, one, it doesn't just sit like an L shape, like your laptop doesn't just sit like this. I find that laptop stands that just uh, make your laptop sit in an L shape, you can't really use it as a standalone product. For me, although the main purpose is to have it on my desk next to my monitor, I do sometimes work off my kitchen island, off my um, dining table, and I do use my laptop stand in those circumstances as well. So I wanted something where the angle that your laptop opens is wider than your typical 90 degrees because that makes it easier for me to type on the keyboard while still having a raised monitor. The height of the back of the monitor stand also made it so that um, my monitor stand stands quite close to the height of my monitor, like the base of the, well actually you can see right here, the base of the laptop stands really close to the base of my monitor. And obviously this will vary slightly depending on the height of your uh, monitor, like feet, I guess you can call it. But this is a great height for me because when I pull my mouse from this screen to this screen, there's no like part of the screen that doesn't match up, if you know what I mean. So the Birch laptop stand you can purchase for $80. This is another area where I really kind of went back and forth with my suppliers as well as with my business partners is, you know, what should we price the product at? We knew that we were creating a very high quality product um, using really nice, like beautiful wood pieces that are carved into a um, specific shape. And we knew that all of these specifications that we wanted would cost extra with our manufacturer, but we still wanted to kind of be able to offer something that wasn't unbelievably expensive. Because while I was on the hunt for products like this, I found that the products that were always beautifully made, aesthetically pleasing, um, were always a lot more expensive. So they were, you know, over a hundred dollars, some were even over two hundred dollars, and that was just way out of my budget. But at the same time, there are the lower ends of monitor stands where they don't look really that great. It's just a metal, like, you know, a metal rack, I guess, um, that costs like $30, $40. So I wanted to come in somewhere in between and be able to offer you guys a really beautiful wood piece while also still keeping the price under $100. The second piece in our collection is the Birch monitor stand. So of course the wood on both pieces match perfectly. They are the exact same shade. They're made from the exact same um, quality of wood and same type of wood. Again, the height of the monitor stand really came into play because we knew we needed to figure out a specific height that would work for most monitors. So I personally currently use a 27 inch monitor. Um, this is an old Apple monitor and I actually had a 27 inch 
um, Samsung monitor before, and although they do vary slightly in their height because the feet of the monitor itself uh, varies in height, um, it actually worked for both my monitors and it's worked for several of my friends' monitors that we've been testing with. When you are looking at a monitor, you want your monitor to be something that you are looking at straight on and you don't want it to be something that you're looking down on because it's this constant um, like look down position that will really hurt your posture and your back. So I was having really bad neck pains the first couple of months of you know working from home and not having the proper setup up um, from this working on my laptop like this to working on my monitor like this and it was just getting so unbelievably uncomfortable for my neck which then translated into shoulder pain and back pain and it just oh it was awful so our monitor stand features a raised platform it is also curved on the edges to match the birch laptop stand and what i love about it also is that it provides organization space underneath for anything you want to store away so again we wanted it to be beautiful and functional but also help with the organization of your desktop my little sister actually uses her monitor stand as just the laptop stand so she has her laptop on top and then she slides her wireless keyboard underneath it so it keeps her desk area looking super clean another great use for the monitor stand is having it when you are working like on your sofa or on your bed I know there are days that we just want to work from bed I'm not even gonna lie I have worked several days actually more than several days just from my bed because I just didn't feel like getting out of bed that day the Birch monitor stand comes in at $85, so just $5 more than the Birch laptop stand. So those are all the products in our first collection. Um, I honestly, I can't believe I'm making this video still. It feels unreal. Even though I know I've been working and working and working at this, it just still doesn't feel real that the launch date is so close. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to see the site see all the photos um, and just kind of see the products available on the site and be able to purchase them. And honestly, I cannot wait, like I cannot wait to see you guys using the product. So if you guys vlog, please, 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 please send me your like social links. If you post photos, whatever, send me your social links and I would just love to see you guys um, using the products and get to know what you guys think about them. If you are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, I will put our, our website, actually I'll put it here it's anklestudios.com um, but I'll also put it in the description as well as a clickable link you can go in there and put your name and or sorry put your email on our sign up page and just um, sign up for notifications for when our page will be launching make sure to follow our Instagram as well at ankle underscore studios um, I will be talking more about the product there as well as on my own Instagram at speak of the angel We've already posted several photos of um, the Birch collection on our Instagram, so go and check it out. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say um, other than see you in the store. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!